Hey people, this is Jane Wong from the Microsoft Resources Tech Team. Today we're talking about FlexLM on Windows Server 2008 R2. We're going to set it up on a VM, um, using it for Autodesk 2013 products. You can also use it for SmartBIM, ArcGIS, and other beautiful software. So you're going to see that I'm running VMware Workstation. I'm just going to go ahead and double check that this guest is a Windows Server 2008 R2 and it is. Alright, I'm going to click the executable to run AutoCAD 2013 media and I'm going to install tools and utilities button on the lower left and you can see that Network License Manager and Autodesk CAD Manager tools is selected. I'm just going to click install and it's going to be installing a bunch of prerequisites. So you're going to have to make sure those are installed. All right. And usually it takes a couple of minutes. Sometimes it takes longer. It depends on your workstation. So click finish on that. And you can see an icon on the desktop. Um, LM Tools Utility. If you double click it, you'll start it up. You'll notice a user account control. And you're going to click yes. Make sure the first checkbox over here, LM Tools ignores license file with environment variables is checked. Just going to double check the version. You can see that it's 11.10. Click OK to that. And to start, we're going to have to go to Config Services tab. So make sure that you have the license file. And I got that license file from Autodesk. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste it over. But before that, I'm going to make a folder, call it license, right, and take the license file, cut, and paste. Continue. Browse to LMGRD. Browse to the license file. And browse to the debug file, which you have to create yourself. So I'm going to create a new text document and that didn't work so I'm just going to use Windows Explorer go back to the directory and I'm going to rename this to debug and I'm just going to keep it as a txt file no big deal click continue and click all files debug click ok kill that click use services and start server at power up make sure you save the service click yes Pretty simple and self-explanatory. Same for 2012, 2010, there's nothing much that changed here. And you can see that it's using the license file that I specified. I'm going to click on Start Server. And I'm going to go into Server Status to check to make sure that it's reading my license file. Click Perform Status Inquiry. You can see that it's reading on port 27,000 at main one, that's my server name, and it's using the right license file. Since my license file is actually bogus, um, it's not reading it, you'll see that there's errors here, no big deal. I'm actually going to get some license files right now. And clear window, go back to Windows Explorer, go to downloads, these are the two files I got from Autodesk. Just gonna copy the increment area and paste it onto the existing license file. That's what they mean by combining license files. You just copy the increment section. Since this is a bogus package increment here, I'm gonna kill that. Take out these comments. Just make it pretty. Clean it up and save, close. And I'm gonna actually do a stop server. Give it a couple seconds and start server. Server starts successful and reread license file. So whenever you change a license file, you need to do three these three steps: stop, start, and reread. So it's going to be a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, depending. I'm going to go back to server status and perform status inquiry. You can see here, and I actually have one seat of AutoCAD 2012, 2013. All right, so what if you get a new license file, you bought new products, so I'm just gonna select this, this is my Revit 2012, and I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna move, append it to my existing. So go back to the main one, I'm just gonna paste, make sure these comments 
There's a little spacers there. All right. Make sure you save it. Close. So I'm going to do the same process. We're just going to go to start, stop, and reread. Stop server. And then a couple seconds, and then click on start server. A couple seconds after that, do a reread license file. Nothing too special here. It's going to say reread license file completed. And from there, going to go into server status and do a clear window. Just make it nice and clean. Do a perform status inquiry. You can scroll down. You can see that. My two licenses are there. It's the same process if you get new products 2013, 2014, 15, whichever version you want. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. As always, you can check out my blog and YouTube channels for other tips and tricks. Until next time, this is Jane Wong, signing out.